And two former referees at the National Basketball Association are out of a job after being denied COVID vaccine exceptions. Kenny Maurer and Jason Phillips had begun seeking religious exemptions. They, along with their attorney, Sheldon Karasik, are with us now. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you, Jim. Thank, Thank you for having us. Now, Kenny and Jason, you both have filed uh, a lawsuit in Manhattan federal court. This comes as the NBA lifted a vaccine requirement for the season. Uh, we uh, here at Newsmax have reached out to the NBA for comment. We have not gotten a response. Kenny, how is it that you are not able to referee? Well, again, Jen, that's, that's a very good question. And um, I, I tell people, I said, you know, after you go through something like this, you have, you have basically two choices. You either go home and don't do anything, or you fight the mandate and you fight the religious exemption that was offered that was never intended to be honored. So um, there's a lot of things wrong with the whole procedure that the NBA set up. Um, you know, you would allow players to play on the same court as, I, as, as the referees were without being mandated, but yet we had to be mandated. No NFL referees are mandated. No Major League Baseball referees are mandated. No Major League Baseball you know, players are, or, or NFL players are mandated. So, you know, it's it's very frustrating to uh, Jason and I and, and Mark, Mark Iad, very frustrating. So um, thanks to Sheldon, we're uh, we're uh, ready to we're ready to go to war. Yeah, it makes sense, especially when you look at places like New York City, where a lot of people lost their jobs that worked for the city that were ordered by a judge to be rehired. So why not uh, in the NBA as well? Jason, what are your thoughts, uh, you know, especially when you see a star player like Kyrie Irving was allowed to play last year despite not getting the vaccine? Well, I, I'm proud for Kyrie. I'm glad that he got to do something that he loves to do. And, uh, you know, from the beginning of this, of last season, I was prepared to go in and do my job and offered uh, offered to do that. And I was told more than once uh, not to come in. You would not be allowed in short of being vaccinated. And so uh, that's why I submitted the religious exemption. Um, and, you know, I, I, I can't wait to hear the explanation as to why it was not honored. And I was not allowed to come in and do my job. Yeah, Sheldon, that's, you know, I think the big question is, how does the NBA come to this conclusion? How do you say that someone's religious exemption, uh, the religious concerns are, are not valid? I guess they have a certain laser that they, they can look into the soul of these referees and determine that they're not sincerely held religious beliefs. I mean, I'm not aware of anybody other than the person himself who's able to say with any kind of sincerity, honesty, and, and deep thought, whether or not, I mean, nobody but the individual can say this, can, can articulate whether or not they have a sincerely held religious belief. And they, and they did exactly that. They put in well thought out statements explaining how the vaccine is violative of those religious beliefs because of its use of fetal cells from aborted fetuses. And they have a strong anti-abortion belief. And that suffices under the law. And it shifts the burden to the employer, the NBA, to try to accommodate those beliefs. But they never did that. They never did that. They never tried to accommodate for one second. They simply interrogated my clients as if they were talking Mata in the Inquisition and determined, oh, they're not really sincerely right. held. So, you know, it's an Ken, absurdity. Let me ask you, Ken, you know, there are obviously, I think, a lot of our viewers, a lot of Americans right now who identify with what you're going through. They're so frustrated by these vaccine mandates uh, in, in many different industries. What kind of response have you received? Uh, what kind of res support have you gotten? And is there a, a general belief that maybe the NBA has just gotten too political? Well, you said that. I didn't. But I happen to think you're right on. Um, you're very smart. Uh, you know, the NBA, I, I worked there six years in the minors, and this would have been my 37th year. So this would have been 43 years. I gave, you know, I, I had a lot of respect for the NBA, and I enjoyed working for them. But to answer your question, I have not heard from one person in the NBA office or management since last, well, I don't know, in the, in the last year and a half. I have not heard from anybody on the executive board, on our union, who basically 
you know, partnered with the NBA to, to put to basically force this mandate on our refereeing staff. So no, not not once. And that's and that gets us even, you know, I'm 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 past being mad. I'm past being, you know, to that point. I'm just upset. And and the fact that my employer and many other employers out there uh, have done the same thing to millions of other people wrongfully. And um, you know what? Yes, we're doing this for for ourselves and our families. I'm not I'm not you know getting you know slight that. We're doing it for a lot of other people that, uh, you know, that uh, when we win this, we're doing it for a lot of other people that just weren't able to stand up for themselves, and, and we hope now they do. Yeah, no, no doubt a lot of folks cheering you on, and we wish you all the best. Ken Maurer, Jason Phillips, Sheldon Karasik, thanks for being with us this morning and for sharing your story. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us.